Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to show you how to upgrade to Utah release. Before we start upgrade, let's see the timelines. Release timelines. The new Utah release versions are released throughout the year. Okay. Here are the current dates for Utah patch and security patch releases. Okay. You can see here. Q3 2022 and Q4 2022, we already got this Utah release in our development instance. You can upgrade your development instance from San Diego to, or San Diego to Utah or San Diego to Tokyo, okay, anything, okay? And it is Utah early availability in February too, okay? So it is in, it early availability is in last month, okay? So now, in the Q2 2023, we will get other patches and security patches will be available from Q2 2023. Okay, so those dates, like what exact dates will be announced soon. Okay, so now let's see how to upgrade our instances, our personal development instance to authorities. Okay, now log in to your personal instance. Okay. After you log into your developer developer.servicenow.com um, site, okay, go to your action. Okay. Under my instance, you see the instance that is online release is Tokyo. This is Tokyo. Now we need to upgrade from Tokyo to Utah release. How can we upgrade from Tokyo release to Utah release? By clicking on upgrade instance, you have here the one of the instance action called Upgrade instance. Okay, click on this upgrade instance. Okay, now you can see the latest releases here. Okay, this is a Tokyo patch 4A is available, and this is the Utah release. Okay, so click on this latest release. Okay, and um, upgrade instance. Click on upgrade instance. Okay. And it will start upgrade your it will start the instance upgrade okay like instance upgrade is in progress okay you have to wait for uh, like at least two to three hours okay once it is upgraded you will get an email okay the instance is upgraded or something else okay so then you can log in and you can we can see the status in the instances like uh, which status it is okay now close it. Now you can see the upgrading instances. Okay, now we can go to your instance actually. Okay, to your uh, Tokyo instance or something else, or like uh, Tokyo or uh, San Diego. Okay, what else uh, your instance is in? Okay, you can go to the instance. Okay, from the instance, you can go and check like stats. Go to the stats, click on the stats, and you can see here uh, Tokyo version. Okay, patch 4A is applied. Okay, so after upgrading to Utah release, you can see the build tag, it will be changed and build name will be changed. Okay, and also you can monitor your uh, upgrade from upgrade instance okay like upgrade uh, monitor activities see upgrade monitor okay click on upgrade monitor okay this is a uh, upgrade summary and uh, uh, click here a new version of upgrade monitor is available so from there Okay, let's wait. Close on. Yeah. In the, so in your uh, production instance, you can see the schedule upgrade, like when uh, the instance is upgraded, like schedule upgrade, we have like Utah patch zero. Estimated upgrade duration not available here. This is not sync, okay, as this is PDI instance. So that is why I think, 
okay upgrade plan okay schedule upgrade start then it will start everything okay it will update in your production instance once you see all these things okay in the customer instance okay now the current version is tokyo patch 4a and the schedule upgrade is like uta patch 04 so maybe after some time uh, it will update let's see let's refresh the page After some time, after initializing the upgrade, okay, after some time, come uh, to the instance and set the upgrade monitor, okay. Then it is uh, updated with uh, this information like upgrade started at what time, okay, at what time, at what date, okay, everything is updated. And if you come down, upgrade progress, you can see uh, the progress here, okay. There are some activities like upgrading platform, updating schema loading plugins and completing okay so we are now under like a loading loading plugins okay so it is loading it and you can see uh, in details like which plugins is loading and how much time it is okay and you can see here the yellow means pending blue means running green means successful red means fail and uh, brown means it's like uh, gray means it's down uh, you can see uh, the available uh, nodes upgrade Okay, how many nodes are available? Um, okay, how, what is the downtime? Okay, what is the running time? Successful upgrade, uptime. Okay, so all these things you can monitor. Okay, from the upgrade monitor. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's wait uh, to complete all the progress. Okay, after the upgrade is finished, okay, you can see. Uh, the instance status is online, back to online, release is Utha. Okay, now if you go back to your instance, and in the instance, it says this uh, completed upgrade summary report. Okay, like uh, what is the upgraded version and uh, upgrade duration, like oh, it takes like one hour, seven minutes because we don't have much customizations on this one. So that's the reason it took only one hour seven minutes if you if you are planning to do you are customer instance then it will take more like three to four hours okay um so the below you can see the skip records from the upgrade okay so you can see the total record changes like this much like 29k changes and the skip records you can see there are total 56 okay what you need to do is after the upgrade okay you have to review all these records like 56 records and see what is uh, why these records are skipped okay if you change intentionally like for example there is a, there is some out of box script and it is not a, you changed it you know, before this upgrade you, know, you configure it and now that record is skipped here you can review it, the upgraded script with the customized script, and you can compare. And if it is really needed, you can leave it like that. Or if if it is not required, then you can revert to the out of the box script. Okay, so that is how uh, you have to manage like a skip record. You need to review all the skip records, what is needed and what is not needed. Okay. And here it says that code unchanged. Green means that is code unchanged, and yellow means like uh, unable to determine. So this also you need to uh, check why it is unable to determine what is missing and what is added newly, something like that. Okay. So this is how you need to check all the skipped records. Okay. By priority, you can see here priority two means this is, these are the records you need to check. First, and these are the records you need to check later on. Okay, so that is how um, we will upgrade. Once we upgrade to the new uh, latest release, latest patch, or something else, we will see the skipper record. If any records are skipped, then why it is skipped, review it and uh, upgrade to out of the box script or leave it like this. 
depends upon the customizations you perform on the phone. Okay, so that is how uh, you can uh, you can upgrade and you can monitor and you can review the changes. And if you go to the stats or something, okay, go to the stats again. Uh, and it will show the build name is Uta, when it is built it, okay, what version we have, what is the instance ID, node ID, everything we can see here. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.